The stimulator in the chart software lets you use your e-corder as a sweep generator. This is the chart software manual and if we look at the contents you can see it talks about the stimulator on page 67. Here it describes how you set up the stimulator. This is the stimulator screen and then it talks about setting up uh, how you set up the stimulator. The stimulator settings uh, come out of the output here of the e-corder plus and minus. What I've done is connect a BNC to BNC cable into input 1 so that we can see what's happening. In the chart software the stimulator can be found under setup stimulator and here's stimulator modes. There's the various modes, pulse, step, ramp, triangle and sine waves. I'm going to start with a triangle wave. Uh, the output is going to be continuous. It's going to start as soon as the recording starts. I'm going to start with a 1 hertz frequency. The baseline is going to be a 0 volts and the amplitude we'll just set an amplitude here about 7 volts. When I click start you can see I've got a triangle wave. It's a 1 hertz, the baseline is at 0 and it goes up to about 7 volts. Under st setup stimulator panel you have a small panel which enables you to change the frequency. So at the moment it was 1 hertz, I can change it to 5 hertz for example. So that's now 5 hertz. You can change the amplitude through from about 7 volts to 4 volts and you can turn it off and back on again. If I go back to the stimulator, I'm now going to change from triangle to sine wave. The frequency at say 0 0.5 hertz. When I click start, you see it's giving me a sine wave. I've now set up the stimulator in pulse mode. The frequency is 1 hertz. Each pulse duration is going to be 200 milliseconds. The baseline is going to be at 0 and the amplitude 5 volts. If I could click start now, you can see it's giving me 200 millisecond pulses every second. I've now set up the stimulator in step mode. I've asked it to give me 4 steps. The step width is going to be 1 second, the pulse duration 500 milliseconds, it's going to start at 0 volts and go up to 5 volts. So if I click start, you can see those 4 steps that I've asked for. Now I've asked for the stimulator mode ramp, the frequency is 1 hertz, it's going to be at 0 baseline going up to 5 volts. You don't have to close the stimulator window. You can just click start and now it's giving me this ramp. Keeping open the stimulator window means you can change parameters. For example, I can change the frequency like this. So that is the stimulator in the chart software which means you can use your e as a sweep generator.